He lost his life over a hoax. That's what the ex-wife of a Broomfield man says after he was found dead during his hunt for hidden treasure. 54-year-old Randy Billu's remains were found along the Rio Grande in New Mexico. Billu went missing in January. People have been looking for him ever since then. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski talked to his ex-wife. She's the one who organized the search. She says despite it all, they never gave up hope. Jen? Shannon, she says they had a little bit of hope left and weren't shocked but disappointed to learn his body had been found. She believes he lost his life for a hoax. Now, this is the first tragedy since this treasure was hidden by an 85-year-old art dealer who says over 65,000 thrill seekers have gone in search of his bounty. It's such a visual sight. Emeralds and rubies and diamonds and sapphires and gold. It was the lure of the treasure that cost 54-year-old Randy Billu his life. Police say his remains were found Tuesday along the Rio Grande. We weren't terribly surprised. We were a bit distraught. His ex-wife, Linda Bill, you talked to us by phone from Florida. She says Randy had made it his life mission to find this antique treasure chest. He was determined, just like the other thousand of them. They all know where it is. Buried somewhere in the mountains north of Santa Fe by art dealer Forrest Fenn, who claims the trove is worth $2 million. Nobody is going to accidentally stumble on that treasure chest. I think it's very unsafe for these people to be out there. Friends say Randy embarked on his quest January 5th with a GPS device inflatable raft and wetsuit. A day after his ex-wife filed a missing persons report, his raft was found along with his dog Leo. Randy's remains were discovered six months later. There is closure knowing that he's been found. We know where he is. The only clues to what Bill Yu was searching for lie in Fenn's memoir, The Thrill of the Chase. For Linda, she says not knowing is the hardest part. Chances are we will never know exactly what happened. Now, I spoke to Fenn briefly on the phone, and he told me he was hoping Randy would be found alive, and he had personally chartered a helicopter to help with the search. Now, Bayou leaves behind two daughters. Shannon?